Sarah Silverman and Tana Hesse Coates are among the authors suing Meta. The authors allege that Meta illegally used their work to build its generative AI tools. Social media giant is not denying that it used the work or that it downloaded books from shadow libraries en masse, but insists that its behaviour is shielded by the fair use doctrine. If C.H. Chabri grants either motion, C.H. Chabri and Shamugam debated whether Taylor Swift would be harmed if her music was fed into an AI tool that created billions of robotic knockoffs. C.H. Chabri questioned how this would impact less established songwriters. C.H. Chabri said he was unconvinced the authors would be able to show the necessary evidence. When defendants invoke the fair use doctrine, the burden of proof shifts to them to demonstrate that their use of copyrighted works is legal. The Kadri case could play a pivotal role in the outcomes of the ongoing legal battles over generative AI and copyright. Earlier this spring, a judge issued a partial summary judgment in the first AI copyright case. The outcome of the Kadri case is being closely watched. CEO Mark Zuckerberg emphasised how central AI is to Meta's presence and future in an earnings call on Wednesday. I will take a lot longer to think about it.